Hi everyone, this is Heyday Tinker Terry. Welcome to my video. I thought I'd make a pretty quick video here uh, talking about the Name That Bird contest. And I just wanted to let everyone know that basically the contest is officially over but um, I will take a little while to go over the names and carefully choose the name that I feel best fits my blue and white female parakeet. I, I am down to uh, a few names that I really, uh, really like. And so, you know, if you wouldn't mind, I would really appreciate, you know, a little bit ex extra time to be sure. But it should be the video uh, naming the bird and the winner of uh, the person who named the bird. Uh, it should be out either later this evening or sometime early tomorrow. And uh, we will know, we will know for sure. We've been waiting a uh, whole month to find out and I know uh, you all must be you know excited about that and I do appreciate all the names that have been submitted I can't wait for my little girl to have have an official name and that will be great that, that will uh, surely be great and I do appreciate it okay let me get some of these things out of the way here while I'm still on. And then I want to talk a little bit about the strange thing that happened that I don't know, maybe it's not as strange as I thought, but we'll see. Because the other night on Ricky's stream, I was trying to explain to him how exactly what was going on, what had happened and he just didn't seem to comprehend what I was saying. Maybe I just wasn't saying it right. I, I don't know, but I ended up getting frustrated and actually ended up, I can't remember what the exact wording was, but I said, I said something and he still wasn't getting it. He was telling me about how, yes, if you buy something, you can't reuse that unless you pay for it again. You know, I'm, I'm well aware of that, but it frustrated me because that's what he kept going back to. And I know, you know, I know how Maggie works. So I know you can't reuse the same item unless you pay for it again. But that wasn't the case here. The case was, okay, on, on my, well, it was really severe last week. I had, okay, in my house, you see, I have the, the brown roof the greenhouse and the the dock deck on the on the bottom where the water's around it and then my truck is uh, called an ice cream the the you know the the beigeish white off white color is called the ice cream well in my book it Maggie was offering me the the deck on the bottom and the greenhouse and the ice cream truck. Well, they're, they were already on my farm. It's not like they were tucked away in my book and she was offering them to me again. They were already there. I would be paying twice for, you know, paying twice is not the issue except for the fact that it's already on my farm. Why would I pay double for something that is already on my farm? And and actually, it happened on a lesser scale, but it happened this week too. So let's go over to Maggie and, um, well first, let's see it's a style book. Okay, I understand, to show you I understand. You know, there's the houses and I know you fill up the book, which I have already done, but because I've only bought a few, but I know that if you if I was to get any of the ones that I have, I would have to pay again. And 
Let me see, since I haven't done so many uh, trucks or, well, okay. But I, I haven't done hardly anything, but, well, anyway, let's get to the point. I do know how it works, but, okay, let's go to the house, you know, which has the, the roof, the house, and the, do and the deck. Okay, look at what Maggie, the third space over, this one. Maggie is offering me the dock deck, right, for 75% off. But this over here, the big picture, is what I have now, the big dock deck. Why would I want to pay 75% off and pay one purple voucher and seven blue vouchers for a dock deck that I already have on my farm right here. Oops. That I already have right here. Why Why would I want to pay that uh, those vouchers for the same dock that is right here and in the big picture. I mean, th has anyone else had that happen to them? To be try Maggie trying to sell you something that you have right now, not something that I bought in the past. And I understand that they could offer me that again and, and I would have to pay for that. But but Ricky kept going on saying, you know, you don't have to, you know, if it's something you bought, you have to pay again to use it. I understand that. I do understand that. But if you have it already on your property right now, on your farm right now, that doesn't make sense why I would want to <laughs> use the vouchers to buy it again. But anyway, I'll let it go. You know, it's just I, w I was so frustrated about it that I couldn't get across what I was trying to say. Uh, I mean, I mean, it seemed clear to me, but I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. But anyway, has anyone else had that happen? And does anyone else not understand what I'm talking about right now? You know, I mean, you know, just just let me know in the comments if you would, because that's just I've never had that happen before. And I always look at what Maggie has to offer. I may not buy a lot. But I always look what she has to offer, and I understand the rules. But anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, I, let me collect these uh, blackberries while I'm here because I will need them for help task. I believe they're helped. Yes, they're help task ready. And some of my uh, hood members will probably be needing them soon. So how is the derby? Or yeah, the derby this week. The Blossom Derby going for everyone. I am not particularly fond uh, of the Blossom Derby, but I know some people like it, and that's fine. That is fine. And, you know, everybody has their own preferences, and, um, but the Blossom, well, there's just, there's just not enough, you know, uh, normal spaces and you you know you have to wait for others to get done and that's not always fun especially when, if someone takes a task and sets on it we try to discourage that but it doesn't always work out that way <laughs> I mean we're getting better but so far you know there's we, we still got a few things to work on but you know we'll see how it goes I think right now we're in second place, or we were the last time I checked. Hopefully we'll we'll get above that. But anyway, okay. I didn't really want to keep this video too long. I just wanted to, to announce and remind everyone that the name that bird contest is pretty much over, except for me letting you know the name of the bird and uh, the person who chose the name and so I would like to thank every everyone who participated for that it's been fun and I can't wait for everyone to know the name of the bird and so until 
my next video comes out, which should be very soon, in a matter of hours. I appreciate everyone, and thank you for watching my video. I hope you have a good day, night, evening, whatever it is in your part of the world. And if you would, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.